Hey aviators, welcome back to This is Compass. I'm Logan and I'll start us off with some weather. Today we've been having some cloud, cloudy skies and uh, the temperature is going to be around 72 degrees. Um, tomorrow we're going to have some more clouds and uh, about the same weather. Um, so graduation is going to be uh, coming up on the 31st, uh, not 31st, sorry. The 25th of May, all the seniors are going to be graduating, and the rest of us are going to get out of school on the 31st. As well, um, also, we're going to have no school this Friday or next Monday, so enjoy your break. Um, let's see, that, I guess, I guess that's it, yeah. Welcome back to This Is Not Compass. I am Melvin, and we have some interesting news for you today. Recently, a lawyer made a proposal for a new law to be passed. The main idea is he wanted to make it legal to nuke apocalyptic asteroids. Futurism.com says humanity ought to rewatch 1998 movie Armageddon and start thinking hard about whether we want to nuke an incoming cataclysmic asteroid. Now to Ivan for news on PewDiePie vs. T-Series. Thank you, Melvin. In other news, T-Series has officially taken number one on YouTube. They have been number one for almost a month, they passed PewDiePie a while ago, and they are on track to remain number one permanently. It might not be long before they reach 100 million, and they might even become the first channel to, to overtake music, an auto-generated channel by YouTube themselves. That's all for us. Here's entertainment. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to entertainment. I'm your host, Valen Beebe, and let's jump straight into this. So, upcoming, May 31st, we're going to be seeing the new Godzilla movie as the great old ones finally battle it out to see who's on top. And upcoming July 2nd, we're going to be seeing Spider-Man Far From Home releasing. And releasing June 21st, we're going to be seeing Toy Story 4, which is about a spork that has a midlife crisis. I kid you not. I'm good. All right. Upcoming in video games, we have Sonic Team Racing that's going to be releasing May 21st. And Total War Three Kingdoms that's going to be coming out May 23rd, two days later. And as well as that, announced to be releasing in June 27th, we're going to be seeing Sinking City, which is based off of an H.P. Lovecraft novel. Upcoming in music, May 17th, we're going to be see, all right, seeing Rammstein release, well, Rammstein. And as well as that, June 19th, Sabaton is going to be releasing their newest album, The Great War, alongside the soundtracks of The Great War, which is an instrumental cover of each of their songs. In other news, Kickstarter has recently had multiple records broken. And they have raised over $2 billion this year with multiple different projects and video games, different writings, and as well as the different movies that are going to be upcoming. Thank you all for watching. Tune in next month to see more new entertainment news. Now over to weather. Hello, aviators, and welcome to our new segment, World Weather. In this segment, I'll inform you about the expected weather of cities around the world. First up is Rome, Italy. Rome will experience some clouds today with a high of 67 and a low of 55. Tomorrow they'll transition to, transition to some showers with a high of 70 and a low of 51. Next is Moscow, Russia. Moscow will have some showers throughout the day with a high of 65 and a low of 52. Tomorrow they will experience a thunderstorm with a high of 88 and a low of 57. Now we'll move on to Beijing, China. Uh, Beijing is seeing some clouds with a high of 81 and a low of 52. Tomorrow they will experience sun with a high of 88 and a low of 57. And last up is Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo will have sun today with a high of 73 and a low of 52. Tomorrow they'll have clouds with a high of 79 and a low of 58. This concludes world weather. Now for the public service announcement. Hey Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look!
Welcome back to Man on the Street. Today, we have one question. Grace, why do you think this school is called Compass? I think this school is called Compass because a compass helps you find your way when you're lost, and this school will help you find your way through life. All right, thank you. Just like a compass, it guides you in the right direction in life and helps you have a better outlook. Why do you think this school is called Compass? What was the question? Why do you think this school is called Compass? Compass is the way that we are directed. Um, okay, can I hold this really quick? Um, it's a place that it shows us the direction of where we need to go in college, mm -hmm. um, past college, or not even to college. Okay. You could like I like how they have. You could have you can go to the military, mm -hmm. non-college, all this stuff. They have a bunch of options. Mm -hmm. Compass shows us the way to go, like a compass. Never eat soggy waffles, you know, mm -hmm. like north, south, east, and west. And I think that's a great role model for our high school students mm -hmm. to see how, like, they have all these choices on where to go, but through Compass, it has a great points on where you can go. Hey, Evan, Evan, stop, stop talking to Andrew. I'm in an interview. Okay. I also think that, um, you know, it's just, it's a great, with the aviator logo, mm -hmm. it's like we're pilots, we're piloting. We're just like of where we go to college, we're in control of our job, we're in control of the military, all of that is under our being, you know? Mm -hmm. I really believe that as a student that mm. participates in this school. Yes. Thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Ben, why do you think this school is called Compass? Because, like a compass, it leads you the right direction. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Here's q and Hi, I'm Nathan, and welcome to Q&A. My favorite color is blue. On the new building, most of the framework is done and most of the outside is done. Yes. The only way to get back into school after missing so many school days is to appeal to the school board and see if they'll let you back in. Yes, you can bring food to eat at break. However, you cannot eat food in the teacher's classes without permission. Yes, I have a favorite food, and it is grapes. That's it for Q&A, and now on the Compass CSI. Welcome to Compass CSI. My name's Ethan Tadakin. Today, we'll be discussing what's really under Valen's hat, and what's really going on with Locker 43. Everyone knows Valen, the eccentric junior, but we